Okay, Algebra 2. Um, the first example in this lesson will show us how to use a base 10 logarithm to calculate base 2 logarithm. Um, we're learning what the change of base formula is for logarithms. So let's figure out how to find log base 2 of x using log of x. Little friendly reminder, if I don't write a base, we assume that the base is 10. So up to this point, we've been working mostly with base 10 logarithms. Um, a few lessons ago, we defined logarithms for any base b. And if you remember, we could say that log to any base b of x equals l, therefore b to the l equals x, right? Well, today we're going to say that, all right, so we have l equals log base 2 of x. We're going to show that, this is the important part, l equals log of x. over log of 2, all right? If we work through this a different way, I can say, okay, L equals log base 2 of x. Then using this up here, all right then, 2 to the L equals x. Now, let's take the log of both sides. Let's come up here. I'm going to say, all right, then log... 2 to the L equals log X, because last lesson we learned if we take the log of both sides, we can start messing with things. Okay, one of the rules, an exponent, I can drop to the outside of the log. Therefore, L equals, I'm going to divide both sides by log 2. Therefore, L equals log X over log 2. Now, you can go through all these steps every time you want to change the base, or you can just go from the beginning to the end. And what I've always remembered is, if I have L equals log base 2 of X, that equals log X over log 2 log x is, is higher in the problem visually, therefore it goes in the numerator, and the 2 is lower in the problem, so it goes on the denominator. Yep, that's how I remember it. So what we're going to remember here is log base b of x. I can change the base and make that log base 10 of x over log base 10 of b and base tens are in our calculator, so we can calculate them, right? So assume that x, a, and b are all positive real numbers, so that a is not one and b is not one. What is log base b of x in terms of log base a of x? The resulting equation allows us to change the base of a logarithm from a to b. All right, so let's just say that L equals log base b of x, then b to the L equals x. Take the log of both sides. And then drop that L in the front. All right, we just did this. Divide both sides by log b. I get L equals Oh hold on. Sorry. We want to be explicit here. We're not going to assume it's base ten. So let me 
actually do the problem how it was stated. Log base A of X over log base A of B. Cool. So just one more time. This is our change of base formula. It's the goal of today's lesson. We have log any B, log base B. B can be anything. We're going to change that into log base A of X over log base A of B. A is usually going to be a 10 because then I can calculate it um, using my calculator, but not always. All right, let's try a few to practice. The following logarithm for four decimal places. To four decimal places, use the log key on your calculator rather than logarithm tables. Um, first, changing the base of the logarithm to 10 if necessary. So here I have log um, 3 raised to the 10, or sorry, log of 3 raised to the second power. So this is log of 9, and if I throw that into my calculator, and that's base 10, so I can put it in my calculator. Um, that's approximately 95.9542, and honestly, this should be a little more accurate since I rounded. I could also say this problem is 2 times log 3, which luckily I get the same answer. Just refreshing your memory. Okay, how about for this one? Here I have to actually change the base. So I'm going to go log base 10 of 9 over log base 10 of 3. This right here is down there. And that is up here. I have to throw it in my calculator, and I get approximately 2.0. And it's not approximate on that one, is it? It's exactly 2. Um, I could also on this one say, two log three over log three. That's if I drop my exponent before my log. Those cancel, and I'm left with 2. So I don't even need a calculator for that one, but it's okay. You can do it either way, right? Alrighty. This one, I get log base 2, 3 squared. That will give me log of 9 over log of 2, and those are both base 10 it in my calculator and I get approximately 3.1699. Okay, number three, letters A through A H. We did a few lessons ago. So, I mean, if we were in the classroom, we might have a little exercise where we could write all these down, but you got them in your notes from a few lessons ago, or last lesson. So um, I'm not going to record over them again. You can look back and um, refresh your memory on the rules, but we just did a whole problem set on it yesterday. Okay, now we're going to define something new. Um, we've got what's called a natural logarithm um, natural logarithm the symbol is LN um, and that that's really it LN is the symbol it's an L and an N <laughs> um, it's my book says that it comes from the French for natural logarithm, which is les log 
uh, rhythm with an E at the end, natural. I thought that was sort of funny, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. I don't know why, ooh, I didn't spell it right. I don't know why it's funny, but it's okay. So recall back in lesson five, we learned a new um, irrational number called Euler's number, which is E. Now, don't worry, we're not going through the derivation of E, because that was tons of fun. Um, e is approximately 2.71828, and um, it's an important number in lots of different um, methods of math, but we frequently use it as the base of logarithms because exponential functions, um, remember E is something that we use in exponents quite a bit. I told you guys that we use E with um, continuously compounding interest, etc. So when E is in an exponent spot, we can use logarithms to solve for things when they're in exponent spots. Um, so because exponential functions with base E are used to model growth and change of natural phenomenon, remember that's how we developed E, a logarithm with base E is called a natural logarithm. So I'm going to repeat that. Because exponential functions with base E are used to model growth and change of natural phenomenon, so exponent functions model growth and change of natural phenomena Na um, a logarithm with the base e is called a natural logarithm. All right, so these are actually equal to each other. And let's get into a few things. I can say the natural log of one is zero. Ha, zero. And you can check that one out in your calculator. What is the natural log of E? That's also one. Because remember, when those match, we have a special rule. Um, how about log e squared? Well, the rule still apply. And I could go on. Oops. Three times one is three. All right, you'll see in your calculator a log button and a natural log button. Okay, those are the most common things that scientists use, so um, that's why your calculator has those two. And that's why we're learning the change of base to calculate other things. All right, use the natural log and the log keys in your calculator to find the value of each logarithm to four decimal places. Well, this one's easy. It's one. Zero. It's easy, right? And here we have a two. And here we have a one. Okay, those are the easy ones. So go ahead and crunch the numbers in your calculator to figure out the rest of them. And I will fill mine in too. All right, there you go. Now let's talk about these. Make a conjecture that compares the values of log x to natural log x for x is greater than 1. So looking at that chart, I guess, that we just filled out, if x is greater than 1, 
I can safely say that log x is going to be smaller than natural log of x. Justify your conjecture using the change of base formula. So if I use the change of base formula, that means that log x, um, that'd be log base 10 of x, is equal to natural log x over natural log base 10, natural log of 10. So natural log base 10 of x is equal to my change of base formula, natural log of x over natural log of 10. If I mess with this sort of algebraically a little bit, I can say, all right, well, that's log 10 times log base 10 of x equals log x. This is really interesting. It sort of shows us the difference and how they're related, right? Um, natural log of 10 equals 2.3. So if I'm multiplying my log base 10 essentially by 2.3 every time, well this is always going to be bigger. Alright, let's do some more examples. Now, we've done these in the past. We're just going to get a little bit more practice with our change of base formula. Right? Our natural logs are treated the exact same way as our um, LOG logs, right? So we mess with them in the same way. We still use the same properties of addition, subtraction, etc. So let's see what happens if we want to write this as a single logarithm. Um, so you have subtraction and addition. Um, let's go ahead and write them together. So here I'm going to change that middle term to a natural log one third raised to the negative three. So that gives me natural log four plus natural log three to the third power plus natural log two. Remember, I have a negative exponent. I can bring the denominator to the numerator spot. So this gives me, <clears throat> excuse me, log of 4 times 3 cubed times 2. Calculator tells me that that is 216. I can leave it like that, or I can simplify just a little bit further. 216 is 6 to the third power which gives me 3 log 6. So really, any of these are acceptable. I would assume you guys would probably stop at that one. Okay, let's try another one. See here I have log 5 plus log 32 raised to the 3 fifths minus log 4. Um, 32 raised to the 3 fifths. I just typed it in my calculator and I got um, 8. So this gives me log of 5 times 8 minus log 4, which is log of 40 over 4, which is log 10. Oh, I just changed from natural to base 10, sorry. Log of 10, which I'm done with. All right, now we're going to, the instructions say to write each expression as a sum or difference. I've always called this like expanding your logs. So you've got a nice, neat little one, and you want to expand it into a long expression. So let's try it. Okay, first I'm going to expand it messy. I'm just going to get everything on the numerator split up. 
and then subtract what's on the denominator. That's interesting, I have a log e. Okay, let's take our exponents and drop them in front of our logs. And log, natural log e squared. Remember, these are like the same when those match. That is your answer. And there we have our answer. So you do need to simplify them, like leaving that log e squared wouldn't be correct. Cool. All right, let's split it up. I have log x plus y quantity squared minus log of x squared plus y squared. That'll give me this exponent drops to the front. 2 log x plus y minus and we're good. Alright, there's your lesson summary. Um, like I said, a lot of the rules, not a lot, all of the rules that we learned with uh, log log works for natural log also. Nothing really changes there. Cool? Awesome.